starting off the prayer grind here with my weekly experience from Teaser Gothics. Okay, that took ages. What was what was that about? Okay, 13k though. <laughs> so I am pretty close to base 90s here, and it's a goal I've kind of been working towards in the background for a while, and I definitely want to get it this episode because it's uh, it's pretty close. So I want to get 90 smithing first. I might do a bit more. I think I'll just use up all the gold ore that I've stored up from like PVM and whatnot, and that should get me maybe 91. Uh, I'm not sure, but I definitely want to keep this above my prayer level because I like getting Tears of Gothic experience, so I want this to be my lowest still. And I'm pretty sure I've got 90 banked with like Hydra Bones and stuff, so I'll get 90 prayer, but first I'm going to get um, 90 something smithing and uh, see how much my gold ore gets me. I have 20,000 gold ore stored here, which I think is like just about a million experience, which is more than enough for me to get 90 because I'm only 120k away, so let's do this. Okay, so this should be the last inventory of gold ore I need to get level 90 smithing any second. And there it is! So now the only 90 I don't have is prayer, and I can make rune scimitars now, so that'll be uh, very handy at this stage of the game, so good thing I've got that unlocked. Oh, and I just noticed I'm 22-22 uh, total level now, which is pretty cool. And yeah, it's definitely looking a lot closer to max, that's a pretty decent total level I've got there now. And there is level 91 smithing. I still have some gold ore left, but I don't think I'm going to use it now because I'm pretty sure I do not have enough to get to um, 92, so I think I'll just leave it there. Let me just check how much I've got left. 8,000, so still a decent amount, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that won't get me to uh, level 92, so I'll leave that here and I will probably start doing something on the prey grind. So I was just getting ready to use up these ensouled heads. And I wasn't aware of this, but it looks like they've condensed down like all the tons of different spells for every single type of head into just like four different ones for like basic, adept, expert, and master, which is honestly really convenient. So um, yeah, I'll just uh, get on these, I guess. All right, so I don't believe I've got any heads for basic reanimation. And for adept reanimation, I've brought all my troll heads, giant heads, and ensouled horror heads. And I think that's everything there. And I think I should have like two left so I think I'll just uh, I think I'll just bank my uh, potions here and do them all in one inventory and get them out of the way just finishing off my first inventory here got about 20k xp and it's about 200k xp per hour which for like the lower level ones is pretty good honestly just getting the calphite heads out and that lined up perfectly that's an exact full inventory and I do believe I need anti-poison here so I'm gonna bring that with me as well I'm about to get a prayer level here, and if I'm not mistaken, I should probably get a combat level as well. Yeah, up to 124 combat, so 88 prayer, 124 combat, only two levels to go, and then a max combat. I think most of that will be prayer because I've only got two attack levels to go. I've got 450k XP to the next prayer level, which I'm pretty sure my insult heads won't get me to, but I should still get a decent amount, so I'll get them out of the way anyway. I don't actually have a task, so I'm just going to get one here and make sure that none of the insult heads that I'm killing are one of the monsters that I get, just so, you know, speed up the task and get a bit of XP. Dagoneth. Oh, I just killed all the Dagoneth. Oh, well. So I finished killing all the dragons and Aviancies. I'm getting about 340k XP from those, so that's that's pretty good. That's, like, better than Gilded Altar, I think, with Dragon Bones, so, yeah, pretty decent. I think I've just got... Uh, and sold abyssal heads left and then maybe like two blood folds and I think that's it and this will be the last and sold head so I've made it a third of the way to the next level so that's a sizable chunk but most of my prior XP will be from bone so let's get started on them one thing I've got to remember before I start is to move my gilded altar because I've got it way out in the middle of nowhere over here because I don't really need to use it on a regular basis but I'll probably just uh, swap this and this for now I think I'm going to start off with some of these random bones I've got here, like these drake bones and worm bones. I'm currently at uh, 4,575k XP, so uh, I'll see what I get after these bones. Okay, this is the last of the drake and worm bones here, and I definitely think it was worth uh, banking the bones from these tasks. We got, well, um, about 70k XP from those, and it wasn't even that many bones, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I think I'm going to do some Dagoneth bones right now. They're like the best XP per hour of all the bones I've got. The only problem is I don't have that many. I've got like 100, but I think I'll just get them out of the way. Man, 437 XP per bone is insane. It's literally like 1 million XP per hour. <laughs> I wish I had more of them. 
Okay, I think I have to start cleaning some marantils here because I don't think this is going to get me through all my bones. Uh, overall, this should be enough though. I definitely can't be bothered farming marantils, so hopefully it is. I'm going to start working on the hydra bones next, and I think this should be a pretty massive chunk of XP. I'm glad I banked all of these, so a thousand hydra bones coming up. I'm currently on 0,689,000, so we'll see what we get after this. 385 XP a bone. This is going to be good. There is level 89 prayer, so only one level to go to base 90s. Oh, and I got um, total level 22, 25. That's pretty nice. About to finish off using the Hydra Bones here, and yeah, I got quite a lot of XP from these, so up to um, over 5 million. I think we've got about 400k XP almost from those, and now it's just the Dragon Bones left. Alright, and there is level 90 prayer, which is a massive milestone. And it looks a lot more satisfying than having like some random 80 number there, so that's pretty cool. So I can combine sigils now, not that um, I'm going to do that anytime soon, but yeah, base 90s. <laughs> that is awesome. So I think everything else I've got 91 or higher, but yeah, 90 pro. I think I've got like a thousand bones left, so I may as well just go use them as well. But yeah, this is a cool master. Oh, wait one second. I've still got a few bones left. And that is the last of the dragon bones all used up. Uh, we've got about halfway to the next level, so a decent bit of progress there. And now I'm going to fix my house because I don't need this uh, chapel sitting here. I want my... Um, I want my superior garden here. Much better. Okay, now I think I'm going to go do a bit of Slayer. Okay guys, so it has been quite some time since the last clip I recorded for the Hardcore. Uh, of course I was playing Leagues for like two months straight, so it's been a while. I've just got to get, try and get back into it, and I've got a Dagoneth task, so I'm going to go and do that. Feels like I'm barely getting any XP now after going back to normal rates. Uh, this is going to take some getting used to. <laughs> there is my Dagoneth task complete, so time to go get another task. It's obviously a very fast XP task, but um, it's uh, very short as well, so I don't get a ton of XP overall. Alright, let's hope for a Hydra task. Oh, perfect. Every time I say that, I feel like I get a Hydra task. Awesome. Did a medium clue scroll from the Dagoneth task, and I got Mithril Plate Legs G. Nothing special, but it is a new item for the collection log. In the meantime, I've been doing a bit of herbivore, just working towards maxing, and you never know, maybe I'll get a pet. I've just hit 400 herbivore KC. I think the pet's like... One in 6,500, so I don't think it's too likely, but, um, you know, racking up some Renars never hurts. I've got, uh, how many have I got here? Ten from doing them. How many have I done? Like, 79, I think, since I've started again, so, yeah, not too bad. Uh, is this guy gonna be okay? Is this a, uh, group Iron Man that's about to die? Poor guy. Uh, that's a shame. No, he's dead. <laughs> Hope that wasn't a hardcore group Iron Man. And there is 500 Herbivore Harvests. There is level 97 Hunter. Honestly, not too far off 99 now. Alright guys, the League rewards are here, so I'm pretty sure I did get into Adamant, so I'm going to claim my trophies, so I can take... Uh, oh, so you can actually take the previous trophies as well, I didn't know that. But uh, yeah, grab all my Adamant trophies, I'll put them in my house. And uh, now I've just got to see which rewards I want to buy. I definitely think I want to get the uh, Shattered Cannon Kit. Okay, so I think I'm going to buy the Cannon Kit, so I'll buy that. Um, I think I want the Shattered Void Ornament Kit as well, and try that out. And I don't think I'll get the Mystic Ornament Kit, I'm not really bothered about that, I don't use mystic Mystics. Um, and the Variety one, that works at a bunch of different things, I think I want to try putting one on my Whip. And I may as well get the Shattered Teleport Scroll as well, maybe grab a... Um, I think I'll grab the Shattered Teleport Scroll as well, because that is a pretty cool animation, and it's only a thousand points. So I've still got twelve thousand points, I could always buy more stuff in the future, but I think I'll leave it there for now, and I'll go and put my trophies in my house, and I'll try out these ornament kits. I'll put them in order, I think, so I'll put Twisted first, uh, then Trailblazer, and then Shattered Relics. There we go, sweet. I'm going to apply the Shattered Cannon Ornament Kit here, so I'll add all them. Alright, let's set this bad boy up and have a look. I can actually use it right now, but uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'll apply it to my void as well. Okay, this looks pretty sweet. I do like the look of this. Uh, try the ranged one and try the magic one. I do quite like the magic. The magic one's probably my favourite. And now I'm going to apply this Shadow Relics Variety Ornament Kit to my whip. I think it turns into some kind of, like, chain. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Just got a Hydra's Eye and kill count number 685. Um, not super useful right now because um, 
Obviously, I already have uh, the Brimstone Ring, but I'll take it, I guess. And I just got a Hydra's Fang as well. Again, also not very useful, but it's still a drop. Okay, so I'm going to be taking a bit of a break from Hydra right now because there is a new quest out and the mini game. Uh, it's the runecrafting one, the Guardians of the Rift one. The game's been down a lot today, so hopefully I can do this without any problems. But yeah, I want to go do the Temple of the Eye quest. Okay, this quest is getting a bit trippy now. <laughs> Ah, there is the Temple of the Eye quest complete. 5,000 runecrafting has been away. Uh, so, yeah, I should be able to do the minigame now. And there we go. There's my first uh, Guardians of the Rift KC. So, uh, honestly, not bad. I got a decent amount of runes, like 200 nature runes, 150 deaths, 100 laws, and a decent bit of uh, runecrafting XP as well. I've got like 9k from that. Just got a Catalytic Talisman. I don't know what that does, but I've got it now. So apparently this Catalytic Talisman gives me access to like every runecrafting altar but elemental one, so that could come in handy, I might want to make a tiara out of that. I just got Abyssal Pearls for the first time, and apparently uh, these are kind of rare, like th this is the currency you used to buy stuff in the shop, but apparently they're kind of rare, so hopefully I get some more of these. Okay, so I'm going to make a golden tiara, which is what you need for the Catalytic tiara thing, so I'm guessing I just use the talisman on here. Uh, no, guess not. <laughs> I think what I have to do is actually use it on a catalytic altar, so I'll try it here, and there we go, catalytic tiara, so this should work on everything that isn't an elemental rune. Just got another catalytic talisman, I don't think I need any more of them though, so that's kind of useless. I just got an intricate pouch, I'll have to look up what that does. Okay, so basically I think I just open it and get a reward from it. Um, cosmic runes, not bad. Got a fair few runes from this. If this was like early game Iron Man and I was in need of like lore runes and nature runes, this would be pretty damn good. I've got another intricate pouch here. Let me check if I've got anything interesting from here. Astral runes, uh, not bad. I've gathered up 300 abyssal pearls and I think with that I can actually buy the boots of the eye. And basically what this does is it gives me more runes. I think I get like 10% more runes per item and this is the cheapest one. So yeah, might as well get it now. I don't see any reason I'm waiting. Oh, I just got an elemental talisman, so I guess that's, um, oh, and another catalytic talisman. So I guess I can make the elemental one as well, so that's not too bad. Oh, shit, I just got the abyssal lantern. <laughs> nice, that's like, um, it's like one in 700. How many have I checked? 175, okay, I got lucky on this. This basically, uh, makes it easier in the minigame. You get buffs, uh, when you light certain logs in it, so I can, like, not have my, uh, runecrafting pouches degrade and stuff like that, so that's, uh, super useful. <laughs> So I think I need six types of the log and I'm going to use redwoods on it and apparently that'll make it so that my runecrafting pouches don't degrade and I think I get um, an extra 5% runes and an extra 5% points. So that's uh, all in all a pretty good all rounder. There is level 98 runecrafting so only one more level to 99 and honestly I could probably go straight to 99 while I'm here. This minigame is pretty fun. I like it. Oh, uh, this minigame's trash. I hate it. And there is yet another Catalytic Talisman. I'm getting so many of these. Oh, and another Abyssal Lantern. I don't actually need that, but uh, okay, I guess. <laughs> Got a hard clue scroll inside one of these intricate pouches. I didn't know I could get them, but that's also pretty cool. Um, and just more runes by the looks of it. Not bad. So yeah, I feel kind of bad that I got the Abyssal Lantern when I imagine so many people uh, really want to get one of those. Okay, so I went ahead and did the hard clue I got. Let's see what I get here. Um, Armadil Page, Charles Dragonstone Jewelry, okay, this looks pretty trash to be honest. Got another hard clue scroll from an intricate pouch, I'm not sure if these are like super common or anything, but I seem to be getting them uh, quite frequently. And there's the hard clue complete, let's check what we get. Uh, nothing special. I opened the rest of my pouches and I just got another clue scroll. I've opened 10 of these and I've got 3, so I looked it up and apparently it's 1 out of 50, but that doesn't seem right because I'm getting about 1 in 3 right now. So I was about to go do some Motherload Mine, but I think what I actually want to do first is to go and farm the Celestial Ring from the uh, Shooting Stars. So I need a better telescope in my house. I think I'm going to make a mahogany one, and then I should have a better time frame of finding out when the Shooting Stars land. And here's the Shooting Star. I've just logged in after the most recent update, and apparently they've changed the prices for things you buy with the Abyssal Pearl. So I'd already bought the uh, shoes, I think, of the set, so I get some of those back, and I think they're also cheaper now, so... Um, yeah, I might be able to buy another piece at some point, but uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. 
I just found another crashed star. There wasn't many people at this one, so I got loads of stardust from that. I might actually have enough for the ring now. So the ring is 2,000. I've got 2,500, so I can definitely afford that. Let's buy one of these. And what this does is it just gives me a plus four, like, invisible binding boost at all times. And I think it goes past 99, but for now it should still work regardless. And I need all the advantages I can get because I'm still using this newbie little room pickaxe. So thanks to the refund of the Abyssal Pearls and the reduced prices, I can actually buy uh, Sabro Bottoms now, so I'm going to buy them. So now I've got two pieces of the set. Are you kidding me, bro? I just got another Abyssal Lantern. This is the third one I've got. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I, I, uh, I'm sorry for all the people that can't get a Lantern yet. Oh, I just got Red Dye as well. What, what the hell is my luck at this place, honestly? This is crazy. How many... One sec. 374. The, the Abyssal Lantern is one out of 700, I think. I've got three of them. And this thing is even rarer. I'm not sure about that, but I know it's rarer. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's interesting. Haven't got the needle yet, but I'm in no position to complain because that, uh, that is ridiculous. There is level 95 mining. I've basically just been doing a bit of motherload mine here and there uh, when I'm AFK just because mining's probably my least favorite skill. And if I'm going to ask... Ma ugh. If I'm going to max, I'm going to need uh, mining at some point, so I may as well get a bit of a head start on it. Okay, first loot after uh, waiting a while, I just got the Abyssal Needle. So that's it, I think. Everything um, that will help me in the minigame itself. Uh, going to be able to get a Colossal Pouch. Now, actually, can I just do it? I've already got my uh, pouches here. Can I just make it? Yep, combine them. And I should be getting a Colossal Pouch here. Awesome. I get a thousand crafting XP as well. So all that's left is getting the pearls for like um, all the, everything else I need to buy, like the rest of the set and maybe the uh, the orb thing to change my pet. That'll probably be uh, not anytime soon though. With the last inventory loot I just got, I should now have enough pearls to buy the next piece of the set. So I think, yeah, the hat's like 400. Yeah, the hat's 400, so I'm going to buy the hat. And all that's left is the rope top, which is 350. So that's all I got to get now. And I do like the hat. The hat's a cool one. I am wondering whether I should die um, a piece yet, or maybe I should wait and see if I get any more dies. But uh, yeah, I'll probably put that on at some point as well. Bro, I just got another lantern. <laughs> I'm still pretty sure I've not even reached the drop rate for one of these. I'll have to check in a second, but I, I think I'm going to be able to trade these in at the future. I think they said something about that, so that's good. But like... Oh my god, how many am I going to get? Let's check. 540. It's 1 out of 700 and I have 4 of them. Like, okay, dude. I just opened an intricate pouch and got this tarnished locket, although I don't think it's anything important. I'm pretty sure it's just like a cosmetic thing that I can get. I also think I'm going to dye my hat red because that's like the most noticeable part of the set. So I think that'd be pretty cool to have a red hat. Let's uh, combine them. I don't think I can um, undo this, so I yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure though. Uh, let's do that, and yeah, that looks cool. I like that. Okay, I just got some Abyssal Blue die. That's the second die I've got. Awesome. That's uh, that's pretty rare as well. I think it's 1 in 1200 for the dies. so uh, yeah, that's um, that's quite a cool drop. Bruh. Um, yeah, I'd... <laughs> there's another one. I think I'm actually going to put this Abyssal Blue die on the uh, robe bottoms. Originally, I was saving it for the chest piece, but the thing is, I think uh, Varakam would probably be better to use anyway, because the extra runes aren't, like, super important, and the Varakam is helpful getting extra uh, fragments, so I think I'm going to put this on here, and should look pretty good. I'm not expecting to uh, get three of the same die to put on, so may as well just do this. And there we go. Random milestone, just hit 300 million total XP. And there is 200 rifts closed, and I am getting pretty close to 99 runecrafting here. I'm coming up on 99 runecrafting here. I was planning on, like, leaving and going and doing something special or something, but you know what? I'm too lazy. I'm just going to stay here and get my 99 just in the middle of a game. And I think this is going to be it in a second, right near the end of the game. And there we go, level 99 runecrafting. That is a really cool 99 to have, one of my favorite skills. Yeah, there's the end of the game. So now I need to go get my cape. Hello, Aubrey. I'd like a cape, please. Runecrafting cape is one of the best looking capes in the game, I'd say. It's uh, pretty cool. Not the best, but Slayer's probably my favorite one. But um, 
Yes, I would very much like the runecrafting cape. Some of them um, you can buy in like the shops and some of them you have to talk to them. Unless they've changed it to be universal or something. But this one looks like it's in the shop. So buy a runecrafting cape. And there it is. Let's do the emote. The emote's really cool. Yeah, that's that's probably my favourite uh, skill cape emote in the game. That was a really good one. As far as I'm aware, what the runecrafting cape does is let you enter any altar, like it's a tiara. And on top of that, it makes your pouches not degrade. Which means that I can change my redwood abyssal lantern to you. Because the redwood stops the pouches from degrading and I don't need that anymore. And the U gives me more points, so. And there we go, there is a U lantern. I just opened an intricate pouch and I got a lost bag. This might just be cosmetic, but that's pretty cool. Apparently there's a note inside it. We read it, oh, it just looks like lore. Another good thing about being 99 runecrafting is now I get double death runes. So uh, yeah, this will save me having to buy them when I'm uh, barraging. All right, I just hit 700 searches. So that's the drop rate for a lantern. I'm gonna get one one of these days. I'm kind of dry. I think I should actually have enough abyssal pearls now to finish the set. So let's take it out. I think it's 350 for the, um, the body. So let's get that. Yep, the rope top is 350, got 6 pearls left, and that is the set complete. So it took 211kc to get the set, and let's check how much I have searched this. 728 times, so not bad. I'm not sure um, whether I got lucky or unlucky with the pearls, but uh, yeah, not too bad. And let's check how many runes I got. I was even banking some of the elemental runes, just because uh, I thought I'd try stacking them up. And yeah, I've got so many runes now, like 26,000 natures, I think I had like... 8,000 before, I had like no cosmics, I had like very few lore runes, so yeah, I've gotten a ton of runes from this as well, which is nice. And with that, I think I'm going to end the episode here. I uh, did get a bit sidetracked from the Hydra grind with the Guardians of the Rift update, but it's very cool, I like the update. And I did get 99 runecrafting, seeing as maxing is my eventual goal, that's, uh, that's a good one to get out of the way. And to be honest, I'm not sure I would have been doing Hydra anyway, because the servers have been really laggy since uh, Guardians of the Rift, and I really don't want to uh, die at Hydra, so uh, I'll get back on that at some point. Other than that, just uh, more training of skills and stuff, so yeah, see you in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed.